hello folks welcome back to my channel uh, today we will review image uh, and also install it on casa os so as you know image is a google photos alternative so if you want to self host uh, something that is alternative to your google photos and can act as a backup solution for your photos and videos image is a very good tool it is still under very active development but uh, still um, in a very good shape and offers a lot of feature out of the box so i think it is right now one of the best solutions out there so let's see how it pans out against google photos what are the features it offers and uh, uh, how to set up it on casa OS. so let's get started so this is a fresh casa os installation that i have simply prepared for this particular video uh, now if we see in the app store and search image uh, there isn't any app called image so we will have to do a little uh, work around to install image on casa os so by the way if you don't want to go via casa os you can simply install image uh, using the docker compose file image provides uh, so this is image website and if you go and see docker compose file you, you can simply run this docker compose file it will uh, simply work out of the box so but uh, we we are simply we are trying to install it using casa OS, so we will go this way um so there is a small workaround we will have to set up this big beer casa web app store uh, in casa OS. so big beer casa OS provides the, uh, like a docker compose file for uh, image uh, so using that compose file you can install image directly on casa os um so yeah uh, so over here these are the apps that are provided by a big peer app store and we have copied this link and now we will simply go to app store more app uh, over here you can add this link so as you add this link uh, all the apps provided by big beer uh, casa os uh, sorry big beer app store will be available in your casa os so over here if you see image is there there are two versions image without machine learning and image with machine learning we will install image with machine learning so as i mentioned in my previous videos as well why i like casa os is it takes uh, like it saves a lot of time by removing all the mundane tasks that i have to do so we'll have to wait a little uh, for it to install and download all the docker containers okay cool so let's see the settings uh, so it has installed pg vectro uh, and uh, over here in the network you will select big beer image default so in all the containers we will select this network we want to run this on a different network altogether and all the containers should be on this network so that they can resolve things on their own uh, so there isn't any issue in the container discovery uh, so pg web pro image machine learning image microservices image server and redis so it will install these four or five uh, docker containers cool so as you can see image is installed now we will see uh, so this is the welcome page so admin email admin at the rate example.com admin password admin so okay there is a new version available as well i think docker image is not yet updated so i will simply say acknowledge so i will prefer light theme storage uh, okay i'll go with the default settings so this is self-hosted image server i think they have also updated the logo personally i would i i like the original logo uh, this logo i like very much but i think they have updated the logo or maybe they will re-update the uh, re-update the logo again in some other version uh, so over here you will see all your photos uh, and then we have explore uh, maps sharing favorites albums archive trash um hmm. 
and then in administration let's see uh, i can add a new user let's say i add a new user okay a new user is created uh, and uh, i can also see server stats over here there are zero photo zero videos external libraries settings job settings you can control everything like number of thumbnails uh, and all that stuff then you have external library what system and all that stuff so yeah this is basically the overview of image now let's upload a few photos to it and see what happens Cool. So I have uploaded few photos and videos to quickly sh show the features that um, image provides out of the box. So first of all, it provides you like a timeline that you get in a Google Photos, uh, etc. Uh, so you can see by year your photos categorized. Uh, so I upload a few of my photos to show the videos, uh, and then you get a live like as, as soon as you hover on a video the video starts to auto play so like this is a very similar thing the timeline sort of a thing that uh, uh, google photos also provide then if we talk about explore it also detects the faces and uh, also the places so you can basically see photos by the people and by the places so uh, over here I, I don't have a lot of photos so if you have a lot of photos it actually works pretty well I have like a, a full around 500-600 GBs of my personal photos and it works very very good uh, I'm telling you from my personal experience then you have a map and uh, on the map it takes 2-3 minutes to load like you can click on the map and see photos for a particular place um, so that is also a very nice feature then you can create albums like i have created one album and uh, let's say let's let me add a few photos to it uh, so i have added a few photos now you have created album now you can share this album with uh, someone like let, let, uh, like we created an account uh, so i can share these photos with someone uh, on my server so for example now i and my wife have accounts on image server okay i can share photos with my wife or anybody i can also generate the public link of the photos so uh, like if it is enabled on a public link uh, like https then i think create link also works if you want to specify some password you can specify some password uh, uh, you can also specify the expiry of the link then uh, you get the link and uh, okay okay so if you see uh, you will have to enter the password what was the password yeah. I think there is some error uh, so yeah so this is how you can share publicly as well your album uh, then uh, you have favorites so you can mark a photo favorite and it will show that photo in your favorite section I think yeah so overall it provides you a very good features uh, on top of uh, your photos so as we saw in administration like you can rerun your jobs and uh, do smart search and face detection etc so you can control a few things from this and and like the power of self-hosting you aren't providing your data to any any public provider for example google photos or anything else so it is a very powerful tool yet it is in early stages of development uh, in the like i want to say in in the early stages of development it's so powerful i'm i'm quite excited to see what's coming next in image 
uh, and I'm quite happy with the development so far. So it has been like one of my go-to tools uh, for photos, backup and uh, like sharing the album and album maintenance etc. Uh, I've been using it for like around one and a half month uh, or so. Uh, so far it, it it is working flawlessly for me i have also installed image apps on my mobile phone for auto backup and uh, so i haven't mentioned you about the mobile app so far and the mobile app also worked really really well i would also recommend installing mobile app uh, let me know your thoughts on this and uh, please let me know in the comment section uh, what do you think about image and uh, self-posting your own photos, backup, stack. So thank you.